Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. In today's video, I'm going to be addressing something that's a very important issue and it has to deal with tab version of the books software that's present on the Tab Ultra and the Tab X. And these two devices so far, so the Tab family so far, has and is exhibiting some strange anomalies or uh, lack of features that were present and are still present on all of the other books, devices and platforms. But oddly, there's some discrepancies here and they just don't make any sense. So let's check it out. Well, the first thing that I've noticed on both the Tab Ultra and the Tab X is somewhat expected, and that is the actual battery performance. And despite both devices actually having a massive 6000 milliamp battery on board, because of that added GPU, the battery performance is actually, especially in Reader, which is quite surprising for me, is quite significantly lower than what we already had from devices such as Note Air 1 and Note Air 2, which had half the battery, precisely half the uh, battery capacity of these devices, yet would have twice or more than twice uh, the battery performance in reader um, situations. Now, that is me actually using the auto flip function here, but it was used, auto flip function was used in the other device as well. So it's the same exact conditions, yet the tab devices with the GPU, they expand a lot more uh, battery life in those conditions. In writing as well, you can see it, but it's not as noticeable. It's not that bad, but it is definitely something that I think um, they should be able to optimize to at least have like, as we have these modes, then to have a mode which uh, doesn't use the GPU or bypasses it in some way so that we can have the same type of performance that we had on Note Air 1 and Note Air 2 and Note Air 2 Plus. So we just go around the GPU if that's possible. And then you have worse the ghosting performance and stuff like that. So that is your like uh, your prerogative to choose that. But then you get to actually utilize the massive 6000 milliamp battery that is present both on the Tab Ultra and the Tab X. This is a big problem both on the Tab X and the Tab Ultra. Here I have hooked up my wireless Bluetooth keyboard. As you can see, it's normally detected. And normally on books devices, you would have this icon here in the upper corner where you can swipe down for the notifications and you have configure physical keyboard, right? So when you tap on it, you are supposed to have the option of selecting the uh, keyboard language and layout, but that is painfully missing both and, and inexplicably <laughs> missing both on the Tab X and the Tab Ultra. And if we take a look at my trusty old Note Air 1, which has uh, also a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up to it, as you can see, um, if I go down here, I get the same thing, configure physical keyboard, tap to select language and layout, and here I can actually choose which physical keyboard it is, then I can tap on it, and then I can set up keyboard layouts, and these are all of the languages that I can choose from. So where where is that entire functionality that's just inexplicably gone missing in the flagship devices. What, because they are classified as tablet PCs and not tablets? That's not an option? I mean, shouldn't it be the other way around? If it's a tablet PC, you want to use a keyboard on it. Yet, that thing is missing. Really, really weird. Yeah, this one here, that's really annoying because on Tab X, on Tab Ultra, I don't have that issue, but on Tab X, for whatever reason, every time you power up the device, it forgets that I was logged in and I don't have an option to choose stay logged in or 
don't stay logged in. Instead, I just have to keep logging in every single time that I power up the device. And that's not something that was present on any of the devices. And it's clearly a bug. This one is also present on both Tab Ultra and the, um, the Tab X. And for me, that's a big, big problem because of the way the system function. And that's the auto sleep. So auto sleep cannot be turned off. In fact, the longest you can have it on is 10 minutes. And that's not the case on the older system or non-tab systems. And here, if I go into power, then I have auto sleep and there's the option 30 minutes and never. Why? Why is this not an option? And why is this a problem? Well, the problem is because on both Tab Ultra and the Tab X, the device will go to sleep uh, even while performing op operations such as watching videos, synchronizing with a cloud account, and even while performing benchmarks, which is completely ridiculous. And this issue has been present since Tab Ultra came out, which is now several months ago, almost four months ago, actually, and still this has not been addressed in any way, shape or form. And we see it on the Tab X as well. <laughs> Another thing is that on either of the Tab devices, so Tab Ultra and Tab X, we no longer have the ability to uh, refresh our strokes, which means processing of anti-aliasing and smoothing them so that they're actually pretty looking, which is something that I really, really loved. Uh, on the books platform because it looks really, really good and it works really good, especially because it was tied to the refresh mode. So you could actually just simply go to speed mode if you don't want the refreshing and you go to the HD mode or the full mode, uh, normal mode, I think it's called, and then you would have the refreshing. And in the notebook settings, again, without any explanation or reason, we don't have the automatically refresh, refresh strokes after lifting stylus option. So we have show erasing trace, all of the stuff up until here is pretty much okay. And then we just skip over the refresh strokes and then automatic full refresh after multiple operations brrr, and everything else is the same, but this one is missing. And you can actually clearly see that, um, yeah, in, in the notebook. So for example, if I go into here, so if I am in normal mode, and here I'm going to be in HD mode, right? So I'm going to choose a pen of certain thickness. I'm just going to do a couple of lines here and I'm going to do the same thing. So let's choose the same. Yeah, it's the exact same pen. And you will see, you saw that little processing. Now here's the difference that I'm talking about. And this is not the 207 PPI. This is that inability to actually anti-alias. You can see it's very, very faint, but in certain cases, thinner the line is as well, you will see that anti-aliasing and jagged edges on the sides, while well as on the Note Air 1, where it has that processing, it's actually, of course, gone and it looks beautiful. So this, I really, really don't understand. And of course we have the absolutely dreadful uh, implementation, if you can even call it that, uh, the difference between the uh, the uh, 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 speed modes of the screen, because the new icons on the Tab Ultra and the Tab X, they are called HD, Balanced, Fast and Ultra Fast, and they make quite a lot of sense. They're very, very easy to understand because it's like a speedometer, right? So HD is slowest, Balanced is a little bit faster, Fast is right midway, and Ultra Fast is like a speedometer going all the way there. Very easy, nice to understand, right? Yeah, except that when you get into a document of any sort, then you go into this one. This is now gone. And it says, please use the built-in refresh settings for apps. Fine. I can do that. And I can go here and it says refresh. And then I go to refresh. And here we neither have the icons or the namings that correspond to the speed modes of the display that we've seen before. How is anyone supposed to make any sense of this and make any kind of connection and understanding 
what to do with this. This is absolutely unacceptable level of implementation for something that is supposed to be a more mainstream type of a device. So if you're aiming it for a more mainstream type of a device, I mean, even for anything, it doesn't matter. This is page refresh. The other one is also displayed mode refresh. So I understand that the technicality is, oh, how are we going to page refresh here? But the thing is, the problem is, you're saying that the icons that I've seen here, I'm expecting to see them because you're telling me, please use the built-in refresh settings of apps. I expect to find those same icons and the same names here so that I can make a mental connection and a reference to and an immediate recognition of what it is that I am looking for. HD mode, uh, balanced mode, speed mode. Not a chicken, regal, and whatever that is, right? Because I know that's a normal one, but it doesn't make any sense. All right, so those are the things that I know and that I have noticed um, that are discrepancies and are missing. And is something that books definitely has to kind of pay attention to because Tab Ultra has been out on the market for three months now. And if you're gonna charge premium price for these products and you are going to advertise them as um, that's uh, uh, what was it called? Uh, tablet PCs or something like that. Uh, E-ink tablet PC. That's uh, it, it, it's absolutely ridiculous that these devices don't have uh, support for a, a, a keyboard layout of a different language when regular tablet e-ink tablets do still have that support. Yet it's removed on this one and that the battery management is so bad that you can't really, uh, that the device falls asleep while it's active and performing certain actions and that you can't really remedy that because there's no never sleep option. So those are the things that are uh, actually quite bad on this uh, uh on these platforms and i really do hope sincerely that box is going to take this uh into serious consideration and actually address address these issues sooner rather than later and not wait their usual you know like oh we'll fix that when we roll out the next big thing no this is actually quite a big deal and this is something that should be fixed pretty much as soon as they possibly can. So let me know what you guys think and uh, what you have noticed if you own a Tab X or a Tab Ultra. Have you noticed any other discrepancies if you've owned and used a uh, books device before between these two platforms? Because it would be interesting to hear. These are the issues that I've noticed, uh, but maybe I've missed some of these and that would be very valuable to hear. So shoot down in the comments below to actually hear what's up and what have you noticed. I hope that you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. Also, if you do like the work that I do, please do check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop and you will find the My Daily Organizer 2023, which is a hyperlinked PDF file that covers most of your or all of your yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily uh, organizing and journaling needs and is helping thousands of people across the world. If that's something that might be interesting to you, you can also check out the playlist in the description below. Tons of info there, so just go check it out and see if MDO is something that's of interest for you or not. Thank you so much for watching, stay safe, stay healthy, and see you in the next video. Bye!